This is an introductory video on how to make an exercise and health trapeze system for a classic striker medical bed. All the parts here are made out of classical pipe fittings. This is what's called a union. Um, this is all half inch steel pipe and each of the crossbars we have a union. Here we have three crossbars at the head of the bed. You can see two, three, and these connect right to the steel posts that are part of the striker bed. It turns out that an inch and a quarter diameter steel pipe fits exactly snugly over the standard pipe that's provided welded onto the striker frame. And then we just simply use a reducer to go straight to the half inch pipe size here. If you had um, a heavier patient and you want to have a little more robust system, you might go to a, a three quarter inch pipe here if you wanted, but the half inch has been very serviceable for us. The um, tail of the bed is same. The only difference here, the tail of the bed, is that we use a longer inch and a quarter pipe to get us away from the footboard because it, so this union happens higher up. <clears throat> and then we go straight to the half inch. Here we just have one cross piece. And again, the union is now hidden here under a little bit of fabric. What we have is each person who visits uh, puts a little ribbon on the whole thing to make it kind of fun. The cross piece here is a piece of ABS pipe. Um, and you can see the specification here. It's a standard three inch diameter ABS pipe. And basically all I've done is drilled a hole through it. So this pipe, steel pipe goes right through the ABS. Um, and it provides plenty of structural strength. It's lightweight, very securely attached with a hole at each end. Um, and this is where these unions are really helpful for assembly. And so a simple pipe, one simple pipe wrench is enough to put this whole thing together. Lori here is demonstrating uh, a little bit of an elastic exercise tool here. Um, you can see that we've mounted some postcard visuals on here, but also um, a pedaling exercise tool where basically it's just an old set of pedals from Bicycle that I have going through a four by four. I've mounted, I've just kind of used a Gorilla Glue to mount the bearings into the four by four. And then an old piece of, of pipe to go between the four by four and a wooden block and the wooden block then accommodates snugly the three and a half inch pipe. And here Lori is demonstrating her pedaling. And this pedaling has been a tremendous benefit in that it allows Lori, who cannot get out of bed for three months here, to move her legs, to exercise her, um, her muscles, but also to maintain really good uh, mobility in her hips, knees, and ankles. And she can do lots of stretches on these too. Lori, you wanna show? Kind of a classic stretch that she'll do on the pedal system and then the pedals can be moved um, in lots of different ways. Let me show them how the pedals, I can just kind of slide them off to the side. So if for some reason you want these pedals out of the way, you simply put it up like that and the friction just holds it so you can have better access to the patient. Um, and down it comes and we found that that's plenty of friction to keep it right where it needs to be. The framework also gives lots of opportunity for putting on like organizer units here at her head. And of course the stretch units on the, on the side rails um, are super handy. This bed is a classic striker bed. And you might say, well, we can't afford that. But it turns out that you can get these on eBay for about $450. It's a $12,000 bed, wonderful capability. And they're being uh, surplused out of the uh, Veterans Administration right now. Uh, and so a wonderful opportunity for a really good quality home bed. The framework also gives the opportunity, and Lori, maybe you can help me with this. Can you hold that lower uh, bar? Yes. Um, so here we have a simple drop-on PVC pipe and let that down. And this um, little easel gives Lori the ability to write notes to people, do artwork, etc. It just drops right onto the framework uh, it can be taken off in just a second as well. So again, the basic structure here is half inch uh, Schedule 40 NPT pipe. Just get it at Home Depot or wherever your hardware store you prefer. The little pieces of, of um, <clears throat> one and a quarter inch pipe to drop over the pipes. And this produces a very rigid, solid frame. Lots of redundancy. So there's not like a one joint failure would make this whole thing drop. You'd have to break three joints at least. And so this is not gonna happen. So anyway, just wanted to give people a little bit of introduction to how you can make your own 
framework that allows a patient who's bed bound uh, to be in bed. Oh, and Lori wants to demonstrate too, this uh, little rope system, she has two handles. Lori can't put any pressure on her back, but she can put tension on it. So in this case, we can use the striker bed to um, elevate her head and we can go up to 12 degrees and have her just simply applying ten, you know, compression on her arms, which puts pressure, which puts tension on her back. Given her broken back, that's an ex that's an acceptable um, kind of mode. And so we can take this bed all the way to 12 degrees like this, and <clears throat> that gives her the change in blood pressure between her head and her feet, so that we can remind her body how to maintain the uh, stasis within the, the blood system when she hopefully becomes upright soon. Any other comments, Lori? Um, this is also a good um, preparation for using a walker, which will be my next step in being vertical. Excellent. Thanks a lot for modeling, Lori. And I'll call on you anytime to model this bed. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> okay. <laughs>